Hey guys, Top Pops here, and today we are going to be doing my first Funko Pop hunt of 2022, possibly finding the first Funko Pop of the year, and we're starting over at Toys R Us because I heard that they got in a bunch of new stuff, so let's go in and let's get started. Okay, so I guess we'll start in the usual spot here, which is going to be this, and it looks like they've switched it around a little bit where these ones are 20% off, and they're probably 20% off also the 868. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything here, but it is pretty cheap. And then over here to the right, this is where most of the new stuff is, I believe, and all of these are on sale as well for $13.57 instead of the normal like $16.99, which isn't bad. They've got the Zombie Doctor Strange, the Metallic Super Shredder, as well as this Michael Scott right here, which I did already order off the Funko Shop, so I don't have to worry about it today. And then I'm noticing a couple other things as well, like the new Black Lightning, as well as the Wonder Woman on Pegasus, and this is definitely a nice figure. Oh, now this is interesting. I don't know how this got here, but I guess we're getting a lot of the Disney Princess figures here in Canada at Toys R Us, so it makes sense. It's just I've never seen these being sold in person. These are normally on the Funko Shop. And now I guess we'll check out the bigger section before we pick out anything for today. And I'm noticing that they have the Jeffrey as Robin on sale. I do already have this one, but it is a nice figure. There's also the Funko Shop exclusive art series Batman, and there's another one back there. There, it's the same one. Then there's also Pocahontas, and then, oh, you know what? I thought this was the normal Captain America. It's actually the Funko Shop one, so this might be the first pop of the year. Oh, this might be new as well. I noticed down here they have the Pan Am stewardess with bag. I do already have that one in the collection, but it's nice to see here, and I saw the other ones up here. I believe they have all four. And then, if we're looking for new stuff here, they've got a lot of the Black Lightning set. I know we saw one a second ago, but it seems like they have the rest of them. And I'm noticing some of the ones from Eternals, Harlem Globetrotters, Katie from Shang-Chi. But uh, other than that, oh no, you know what? They got some of the ones in from New York Comic Con. Or I guess Emerald City, you know what I mean. And we've seen Alexis on the channel before, but this is the first time I've ever seen Duduria, I believe is how you pronounce them. And if you guys want to check that out, there is the figure right there. I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, but I know a lot of you guys do, so I figured I might as well show it off. And then besides that one, I'm not really seeing too much that I'm on the hunt for, but I am noticing down here they did get the Iron Rego, which is a pretty interesting figure. And if you guys want to check out the entire section, let me back up for you guys, because here it is right here. Like, there's a lot of stuff, just not much that I'm looking for. Now, I thought that was it for the pops, but it looks like they've also made this newer kind of section in the middle of the aisle here with nothing really too crazy stuff that we've seen before. But this one here is new, and I know I've shown it off on the channel before, but this one is the Batman Beyond Pop. That's normally a Funko Shop exclusive. I mean, of course, it's got the Funko Shop sticker on there. I just thought I'd let you guys know. And then just to do a quick 360 here to show you guys what they've got, they've got a lot of the pins over here, and then on the backside, some more pops. And I don't think there's anything that I'm, oh, you know what? I actually meant to get this one last time we were here, and it seems like we've got one left, so I might as well get it. And then the last side here, it's a lot more of the pins, and then these up at the top here, which I showed off earlier, so nothing too crazy going on here. Now, guys, I wasn't thinking of getting any Lego today, but then we ran into this one here, guys, the Elf Clubhouse, and my grandpa and I were looking at this one online, so I think I'm gonna be grabbing this today to surprise him with it, and then Noah, you're here as well. I haven't shown you in the video yet, but uh, you ran into this right here. I mean, we gotta get it. All right, everybody, so we got all of our stuff over at Toy Toys R Us. Now I guess let's keep going. I think the next place we're going to is Hot Topic, so I'll see you there. All right, everybody, well, we made it to the outlet mall, so let's go to Hot Topic. All right, so it looks actually pretty similar to the last time we were here, but there is a couple things that I wanted to show you guys, one of them being this one right here, and a lot of you guys wanted me to show this one off a little bit closer up, so I'm thinking I might get this one today, and also Noah said he knows a little bit more about it than I do, so I'm debating on it. But if you guys want to check it out a little bit closer up there, it is right there, and this is kind of like one of those figures that just randomly released and nobody knew about it. And then there's also a bunch of the Archer Beam over here, which I did already pick up. If you guys want to check that one out, it's on the channel a couple days ago. We also have some of the ones from Frightkins, and then these seem to be like the random ones with like one left over. Looks like it. Oh, and a lot of you guys were bugging me because I said I was debating on getting Mojo Jojo, so I might get him today because you guys, I mean, you were pretty vocal about it in the comments, so we might have to grab him today. And then over to the left of the single ones here, we've got a bunch of the Disney Princess ones. So if you guys want to check them out, we've got Snow White, Cinderella, Pocahontas, Moana, and I was debating on getting Moana because if you look at her on the side, you can actually see Hey Hey, and I think it's pretty cute. And then there's also another one that I was looking at too. Oh yeah, here it is, yeah, with the Cinderella one. You can see that there's Gus Gus as well as another mouse. I'm not sure which one, but if you guys no, please let me know in the comment section below. No, what are you looking at here? Oh, I just thought it was cool. It's got these like Nintendo things on it. Oh, interesting. Keychain. Which one? Do, okay, here's the question. Which one don't you want? I don't really want the Game Boy Advance. I'm gonna say it right now. I'll probably. Get you're it. getting the Game Boy Advance. No offense, but I just it, it's how it usually goes. There's also a Chase apparently. Really? Ooh, there's a Chase available. Hmm. 
Maybe they're like chrome or metallic or something? Maybe, maybe. That'd Nate. Be cool. Anyways, guys, back to the pops. And besides these ones here, I think that's pretty much it for the new stuff. I'm not seeing anything too crazy. Well, they do still have the Stitch and Angel 2-pack down here, but I did get it a little while ago, so I think let's just grab those pops and let's get out of here. All right, Noah wanted to open up one of his keychains. Let's hope it's not the, which one was it again? The, it's not that I don't want it, but the I know advanced, what you mean. right? Right. Oh, it's kind of stuck Okay, in there. here we go. Oh, it's pretty big, actually. Who? Oh, is it a, the advanced? I think it's an N64. Oh, that's neat. Hey, there not bad. Go. That's a cool controller. Ooh, look at that. It's got buttons, too. Yeah, not bad. Nice. All right, everybody. So we are now back from Funko Pop hunting, and I did pretty decent today. Especially because we were able to get the first Funko Pop of 2022 in the collection. So I guess we'll start with that because it is a pretty nice one. And I'm kind of surprised that they had it because I know that they get in some Funko Shop exclusives, but this one seemed kind of new for Toys R Us to have it. This one here was the Zombie Captain America. And if you guys are wondering, yes, there is two different Zombie Captain Americas. There's this one and then there's uh, another one that I don't believe I... Let me look over there. Hold on. Uh, they're different. Uh, I just, I'm looking at both, I don't know why. Really quickly, I grabbed it just to see what the differences were, and it looks like the heads are exactly the same. Oh, okay, so the common one has the shield where the exclusive one doesn't. So I guess what Funko did here was that they made the exclusive one worse. And I guess if you guys want to check out both of them, there they are next to each other. And uh, let me know which one you guys would prefer. I was trying to get all of the different zombie ones, so I figured I might as well get both. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking the common one a little more. And so I guess out of this set, now I have every single one of the zombies. I just need a couple of the zombie hunter spideys. And I don't even know if I'm going to get the rest of them because I do already have the unmasked version. But I might get the metallic one that's exclusive to Walmart because it looked pretty interesting. But I think for 2022, this being my my first Funko Pop was a pretty good find, especially because I didn't expect to see it over at Toys R Us, and it is a Funko Shop exclusive. And then the other one that I ended up getting was this right here, guys. This is the Valentine's Day Alien Remix Randall, and if you guys want to check it out, there is the figure right there, and I'm glad that I was able to get it. Because last time I was there, I meant to grab this one, but because I was there filming with my friends, I got a little bit busy worrying about everything else. I just totally forgot to pick it up. So it's nice today, and one left today, and it seems like the box is in pretty decent condition. Like, I'm seeing a crease on the back, but nothing huge. So I don't really care. And actually, I haven't talked about the Alien Remix figures in a while. So if you guys haven't seen the set before or don't remember them because it was a while ago, if you guys want to check out the back of the box, here is the rest of the figures right there, or at least some of them. And they are some pretty nice ones. Oh, and you guys are probably wondering, Tristan, where is the Lego? Well, I was actually so excited about it that I already gifted it to my grandpa. Roll the clip. All right, Grandpa, we are back and we've got another Lego set for you. Oh no, what is, what now? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go get it. Now, it got a little wet from the snow on the way home, but I think it's pretty fitting for this one. Are you ready for this? I sure am. Okay, this is the Lego Elf Clubhouse. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, that'll be a fun one. Though. For sure, this was sold out online, and for some reason, Toys R Us had a couple of them, so we grabbed one of them for you. Really? Yeah. Pretty neat, yeah, eh? Elf, the yeah, you get the elf with the reindeer, and then you cut a couple other ones on here. North Pole workshop, and then you get the little building to go along with it. Oh, and that'll be cute. Look at this, another Christmas tree. Just what I needed. And do you want to know something cool about the Christmas tree? What? Here, flip the box over. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. You get a light up piece, and the tree actually lights up. It shines on the top. <laughs> neat, well, eh? I can't wait for this. Hey, it should be fun. Ooh, that's wet. Yeah, I told you it's wet. I didn't. We got it wet accidentally. It wasn't on purpose, but there is a little bit of water on the side there. The Lego will be fine, but uh, the box isn't great. Is it Lego? Yeah. yeah, it's Lego. It's a different kind of a box. Right? It's similar to the uh, question block that you got a little while ago. It's one of those more high-end sets. Where, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're getting right into it. I mean, hey, might as well. Why not? <laughs> and as you guys can probably tell, it seems like he really enjoyed it. Now let's get on to what I got over at Hot Topic with two more figures. And yes, guys, I did end up getting this one right here, the Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls. So now the last one that I need from the set is Fuzzy Lumpkins, and there might be a couple exclusives, but I'll have to check on that. And if you guys want to check out Mojo Jojo, here he is right here. And this is actually a really nice one, and I never did get the original one, so I figured I might as well grab it, especially because you guys were really bugging me about this one. And I think it's great that I never did get Get the original one because when you look at the two of them next to each other you can see that this one here the newer one definitely looks nicer and i'm glad that i was able to add this one to the collection and not that one even though both of them are great i just like this one a little bit more 
And then again with this figure, if you guys want to check out the back of the box, here is the rest of the set right there. So I've got all of the Powerpuff Girls, and I also have Mojo Jojo. The only one I need is Fuzzy Lumpkins, like I mentioned. And I feel like there's probably a flocked Fuzzy Lumpkins, but I might be wrong about that. I also might be thinking about the soda, because I know that the chase for that one is flocked. But either way, it's a pretty interesting figure, and I'll probably grab it if I see it. And then the last one I was able to get was this right here, guys. Now, this is Moana from the newer Ultimate Princess Celebration Collection. And if you guys want to check it out, here she is in the box right here. And this thing is chocked full of detail. Actually, this entire set is. And if you guys want to check out the back of the box with the rest of them, there they are right there. And the reason that I got this one was because it's a cool figure, but also because Hey Hey is standing off to the side. And really quickly, I wanted to take this one out of the box just so I could see Hey Hey as well as Moana out of the box. And I mean, come. Come on guys, Funko did an amazing job with this one. As well as all of the other figures in the set, but I mean this one right here with having a second character being Hey Hey off to the side, I think it really is a nice touch. And well actually now that I'm thinking about it, it's almost like there's three characters here with there being Hey Hey, Moana, and the water because it really did have its own personality in the movie. And well anyways guys, there you go, that is everything for today. And let me know in the comment section below if you've picked up your first pop of 2022 yet. And if you haven't yet, which figure are you thinking of picking up next? Because I seriously want to know what you guys have been adding to your collection recently. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never ever yeah. fall for a body that's a no. Just pop the kidney about a million options. So just talking to stop doing the green. Bumping that pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby and she's independent.